asked to write the standard equation of the circle, which has a center of negative one, four, and contains the point two, negative two. The standard equation of a circle is given here, where we have the quantity x minus h squared, plus the quantity y minus k squared, equals r squared. Where the x coordinate of the center is h, and the y coordinate of the center is k, and r is equal to the radius of the circle. So because we're given the center of the circle, we know h must equal negative one, and k must equal positive four. So let's go ahead and write that down. We know h equals negative one, and k equals positive four. But we still have to find the value of r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. And since the radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circle, if we find the distance from the center to this point that we know is on the circle, we can determine r and then find r squared for our equation. To get a better understanding of this, here's the circle that we're looking for. Notice how the center is the point negative one, four, and the circle contains the point two, negative two. So if we find this distance, we'll then know r so then we can find r squared for our equation. So to find the distance between these two points, we'll use the distance formula given here. Let's go ahead and call this x sub one, y sub one, and this point x sub two, y sub two. So the distance, which is equal to the radius, is gonna be equal to the square root of x sub two minus x sub one, that would be two minus negative one squared plus y sub two minus y sub one, that's negative two minus four squared, which is gonna be equal to, this is two plus one, which is three, three squared is nine, plus negative two minus four is negative six squared, is positive thirty-six. This is equal to the square root of forty-five. Because we're looking for r squared, we don't need to simplify this, but just in case we are asked to give the radius, let's go ahead and simplify it anyway. The square root of forty-five is equal to the square root of nine times five, and since the square root of nine is equal to three, this would be three square root of five. But again, for our equation, we need r squared, not r. So if we know r is equal to the square root of forty-five, then if we square both sides of the equation, If we square the square root of 45, we would just get 45. So we also know r squared is equal to 45. So now we have all the information we need to find the standard equation of our circle. We would have the quantity x minus h, or x minus negative one squared, we'll simplify this in the final step, plus the quantity y minus k, where k is positive four, squared equals r squared, which we know is forty-five. So x minus negative one becomes x plus one squared, plus, this would just be y minus four squared, equals forty-five. This would be the standard equation of the circle that has the center of negative one, four, and contains the point two, negative two. Now if we had to graph this circle as well, it might be helpful to find the decimal value of the radius. So three square root of five is approximately 6.71, which might be helpful when graphing this on the coordinate plane. Of course, you've already seen the graph of this, but going back to the graph just for a moment, the length of this red segment, or the radius, is three square root of five units, or approximately 6.71 units. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.